Riches at the Bridge, Part 3, by Thomas Babington Macaulay. No sound of joy or sorrow is heard from either bank, but friends and foes in dumb surprise with parting lips and straining eyes stood gazing where he sank. And when above the surges they saw his crest appear, all Rome set forth a rapturous cry, and even the banks of Tuscany could scarce forbear to cheer. But fiercely ran the current, swollen high by months of rain, and fast his blood was flowing, and he was sore in pain, but heavy with his armor, and spent with clanging blows, and oft they thought him sinking, but still again he rose. Never, I ween, did swimmer in such an evil case, struggle through such a raging flood, safe to the landing place, but his arms were borne up bravely by the bar in part within, and our good father Tiber bare bravely up his chin, Curse on him, no small sexist, not the villain drown. But for this day and dues of day, we might have sacked the town. Heaven help him, quoth Lars Porsena, and bring him safe to shore, for such a gallant feat of arms was never seen before. And now he feels the bottom, now on dry earth he stands, now round him throng the fathers to press his gory hands. And now with shouts and clapping and noise of weeping loud, he enters through the river gate, borne by the joyous crowd. They gave him up the corn land, as was a public right, as much as two strong oxen could plow from morn till night. And they made a molten image and set it up on high, and there it stands unto this day to witness if I lie. And stands in the Kidmitium, plain for all folk to see, a righteous in his harness, halting under on one knee, and underneath is written, in letters all of gold, how valiantly he kept the bridge in the brave days of old. And now his name stands stirring unto the men of Rome, as the trumpet blast that cries them the charge of Ulcian home. And wives still pray to Juno for boys with hearts so as bold as his who kept the bridge so well in the brave days of old. And in the nights of winter, when the cold north winds blow, and the long howling of the wolves is heard amidst the snow, when round the lonely cottage roars loud the tempest din, and the good logs of Elgidius roar louder yet within, when the oldest cask is opened and the largest lamp is lit, when the chestnuts glow in ambers and the kid turns on the spit, when young and old in circle around the firebrands close, when the girls are weaving baskets and the lads are shaping bows, when the goodman mends his armor and trims his helmet with plume, when the good wife shuttle merrily goes flashing through the loom with weeping and with laughter, still is the story told, a oh, well Horatius kept the bridge in the brave days of old. Horatius at the bridge by Thomas Babington Macaulay. The End.